This video shows the differences between fading characteristics of several different brands of basic RGB controllers. Now, in this video, I also do have a 6803 Pixel hooked up to a O-Newman controller for reference. So, before we start here, what we have, we have an O-Newman controller. This is an SPI adapter, $14, and it's going right here to a 6803 Pixel node. Now, in this star right here, you can see the different leads. Uh, this is just RGB strip. Uh, it has been connected to, right over here, this is the $6 DMX, $7 DMX. Okay, we also have another six, seven dollar uh, dip switch set uh, controller, uh, three channel, RGB, and that's hooked up to this particular module. Here we have another RGB module, which is hooked up to another O-Newman controller, this one right here. Uh, it looks a lot like this one, but it's just a standard basic RGB controller. Now, uh, in the back back there, right here, we have a, nine, a 27 channel, 9 RGB output uh, controller. Um, that's hooked up to a variety of different things. We got some strip, and we got some more strip, and we got some LED modules, we got some bad LED modules, uh, all kinds of stuff. All right, so what we'll be looking at again is comparing $6 DMX with $6 DMX with $14 O Newman DMX versus SPI based $14 controller and then we also have this uh, 27 channel controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn off the lights and we're going to start here. Now just for reference here again I'm going to lock the camera in place um, right here. This light is the $6 unboxed switch based DC controller and this one is the O Newman DC controller 6803 and this is the $6 boxed controller. All right, uh, they're currently set at 131 intensity out of 255. I'm going to roll these back down to zero, turn off the lights. Okay, now I'm going to start them off at intensity one. Now on intensity one, what I can see here is that this controller, this controller right here is the unboxed controller, three channel. Here's the O. Newman $14 controller. Uh, back here, all these LEDs in the background back here are the 27 channel controller. What you do not see here is the RGB pixel, the 6803, and the boxed controller is not coming on either. I'm going to shut it up to two. Um, Slide increase, in, increase intensity. I'm going to set up to three. Still nothing on 6803. Still nothing on the boxed controller. I'm going to go up again. Four. Four out of 255. Now we're at five. We're at six. Now, this may be hard to see in the video. I can just barely see the boxed controller's output coming on. So uh, right here is the box control. I can just see some of the LEDs just barely lighting up. I'm going to go up again. Now, at 7 now, I can see all three channels for the box controller, so it's just barely on. You can see that the others, uh, in comparison, again, these are both 50-50 LEDs. The, in this case, O. Newman DC controller is fairly bright, uh, as is the Bottom one here, unboxed, $7 controller, $14 O. Newman controller, uh, compared against the 5050s also in the strip here. So I'm going to go up to 8. Now, what you saw here, you can see the 6803 pixel node coming on. The strip again is uh, starting to come on. I would say it's fading fairly nicely. Um, again, we still have about the same brightness between the $14 DC controller, the $7 DC controller, and the, the 27 channel one here. I'm going to keep going up. We're at 8 now. 9. Uh, the box controller is coming on nicely. Going up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16. You can see the next notch in brightness because this, uh, the 6803 pixels are 5-bit color, uh, 5 bits per color, so they notch on at uh, every f 8 intervals, which is 32 levels within 256 possible uh, shades. So that's why you got a little jump there with 6803s. Um, everything else is moving nice and smoothly. You're not seeing any kind of ratcheting or notching. Um, I'm going to jump it up a little bit more. We're at 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, now, 43 here, um, if we just compare the brightness, I can see, it may not be visible in the video, I can actually see the three discrete LEDs in the box controller here on the LED strip. Um, so I can tell that it's not the same level of brightness compared to the 5050s. I can just barely make out the three LEDs in the 5050 on this uh, O. Newman controller, on the $7 unbox controller. Um, now, on the... 27 channel controller. I can still make out in this particular case on the uh, pixels. I can make out, I mean, on this uh, strip, I can make out the colors. Um, I can mostly make out the controller, uh, the colors here on this pixel. So, interestingly enough, even though that this uh, $7, $6 DMX adapter is from the same company that makes the 27 channel uh, adapter here. Uh, they do seem to have some differences in the way that they handle fading. Now, the pick chips do look different on them, so I don't know if there's different programming or what. But otherwise, they seem very similar, so I'm a little surprised by that. Okay, so I'm going to keep going up. We're at 43 now. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and push it on up. We're going to go up here. We're at 102. Um, within... Um, the box controller, the $6 box controller, um, I can still mostly make out the three discrete lights, uh, LEDs within uh, the chip, the 5050 chip. Um, these are blazing, blazing, plenty bright. They look completely mixed. Tells me maybe they're, um, they're probably fading up a little bit faster than, uh, than these here. Um, I can on the on the 27 channel controller, still make out the three individual LEDs on most of these. Um, so I would assume that probably this has a little bit better fading here. Let's see here. Let's keep going up. I'm going to go up to 160. So now we're at 60. We're starting to get some brightness. Uh, our 6803 is pretty bright. Um, I can still make out the LEDs. They're very bright. It's starting to color mix uh, fairly nicely. On the box controller, these completely. I mean, they, you can't tell. There are no, no individual LED uh, colors in the LEDs. These, I can still make out the different colors a little, little bit. Uh, so the 27 channel is more like the boxed 3-channel controller. I'm going to go ahead and crank this up to, let's say, 200 now. or at 200. Um, again, still make out the different colors. 6803 pixel, plenty bright, as are these. These are getting brighter, but I can still slightly make out the colors. Uh, let's just go ahead and crank it right all the way up to 256. Um, so now we're at full brightness. Um, these are fairly color mixed. Barely make out the differences in brightness on the different LEDs. These are definitely bright. Now, I'm not sure if we've got... Now, I'm, I, I'm not doing an absolute uh, perfect test here because I'm using pixel modules. Yes, they're all 5050s, but to say that these 5050s are from the same manufacturer as these and they've got the same uh, resistor values and all that, uh, there are some factors here that may be at, at fault. But... Uh, my conclusion is that, flip on the lights here, my conclusion is the fading on this controller um, is not as good as the boxed DMX controller. Now, what's interesting, if you take this DMX controller apart, there's a PIX chip in here, and what's interesting is there's actually a 2801 chip. The 2801 chip has 8 bits of color, which means that there are 256 levels of fading. So that's the maximum you can get on DMX anyway. So, presumably, I would assume the pick chip, hopefully, and it sure seems to be the way, uh, based on what I'm seeing here 
in the actual LEDs that uh, it takes advantage of that. And it's, uh, it's a more linear fading than what is occurring over here uh, with this controller or uh, with the O. Newman controller. And uh, a surprise here was the 27 channel controller, which comes from the same vendor as this uh, controller. Seems to actually have slightly better fading uh, characteristics, more, more even, more linear, I guess you might say, um, than its uh, little brother here. Uh, just for reference here, this has uh, been tested using uh, EtherCon Gateway DR4, and we are using the uh, E131 test utility from uh, David AVD, uh, which is absolutely excellent. DA E131 test source, downloaded off the web. Great for E131 testing. So hopefully that has helped. Um, this is not an endorsement of any particular product. You should do your own testing. I'm not endorsing any particular product for its quality, its reliability, its suitability for your particular environment. So you need to do your own testing.